Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here, uh, and in today's video, gonna be talking through a couple player props I like on prize picks for tonight's NBA slate on Thursday, May the 16th. Now, for tonight on Thursday, we only have one game tonight. We got uh, game six of the Timberwolves and Nuggets series. So with it being a one game slate, um, obviously it's gonna be a little bit tougher to find props to like when you only have one game to choose from, but I still did find two early plays I like for the game tonight. We're going to talk through these two plays and we're going to share why I like them. Now, before we do get started, uh, guys, as always, if you guys do enjoy these prize picks videos, uh, if they do help you out, hit, uh, hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And if you guys are new to prize picks and if you don't have an account over on prize picks, you can sign up linked down below in the description or just use that promo code NOAA when you sign up for prize picks and you'll get your first deposit matched up to $100. And we do also have a partnership with Sleeper. You guys can check out Sleeper, linked down below in the description as well, or use that promo code NOAA over on Sleeper, and you'll get your first deposit matched up to $500. Now, if you don't know what Sleeper is, they are a DFS pick'em app similar to Prize Picks, where you pick over or under on player projections, you build out an entry, you're able to make up to, a, uh, up to an eight pick entry on Sleeper, you're able to win up to 100X your money, so if you guys want to check them out, again, sign up, make a deposit, and use that promo code NOAA over on Sleeper. You'll get your first deposit matched up to $500. But before we talk through our props for Thursday, I want to uh, recap the two plays we gave out in Wednesday's video. So Wednesday, we hit one of the two plays we gave out, so you know, not obviously not going to get the job done. We did hit Darius Garland less than two and a half three-pointers made. That was pretty much a sweat-free cash because I think... I don't think Darius Garland, I mean, he shot like three or four threes and he missed all of them. Um, didn't feel great about that prop, I'll be honest. Once we got word that Donovan Mitchell was out, uh, Karis LeVert was out, like I was I was honestly thinking Donovan Mitchell was going to play tonight uh, on Wednesday night. He didn't. So I feel like we got a little bit lucky with the Garland under, but he you know, wasn't really aggressive shooting threes. And he's, you know, I talked about in yesterday's video, he's not a volume three-point shooter. The 13 three-point attempts he had the previous game was an outlier. And he went back to, you know, a normal game for Garland, which was what, I think like four or five three-point attempts. We got lucky, you know, he didn't make a single one. Um, we hit the Garland under. Unfortunately, we paired it with Kyrie over 21 and a half points. And Kyrie, not a great game from him, only had 12 points. Shot five for 11, two for two from three. Um, but it was another game where Kyrie just wasn't really aggressive. Uh, when I was watching the game, he would he would drive to the basket, but then he would kick it out to a shooter. Like there would be times when he would have an open layup, but he just wouldn't take the shot. And it's it's really weird. Um, you know, I've, we've seen Kyrie be such a good scorer, such an all you know good offensive player, an aggressive offensive player, but he just he continues to play more passively in this series. Um, Maybe that turns around next game. I don't know. I'm sure Kyrie will probably put up 40 next game to to shove it in my face. But yeah, we take the loss on Wednesday night. You know, not not great back to back losses after you know we had won what four or five entries in a row. But we'll try and get back to it here for this Wednesday slate, or excuse me, for this Thursday slate. And I will say, guys, since it's only one game tonight, you probably should be betting a little bit lighter. Um, there's just not going to be as many props to like when it's only one game. Um, and honestly, in the playoffs, you probably should be betting lighter. You know, there's really the edge gets gets dwindled down. You know, when it's the postseason, and we have the same matchups over and over, the books are easily able to adjust lines when it's the same game repeatedly. So there's not a ton of edge right now with player props, but I still want to come on and try and give you guys what I like the most. You know, from what's available, um, and obviously I'll give reasoning behind every prop, and it's up to you to decide if you want to tailor or not. But let's talk through what I'm liking for this game on Thursday, and for, both the props we're going to talk about are going to be assist props. So the first prop I'm liking is going to be Nikola Jokic, more than eight and a half assists. And let's talk through this one, talk through why I like this prop. So if you look at what Jokic has done in this series, he's gone over this line in three out of five games in this series. He's gone over this line in seven out of 10 games so far this postseason. There's only been three playoff games where he has not gotten at least nine assists, and the three games where he did not get nine assists. He had eight, seven, and seven assists. And if you look at Jokic so far in the postseason, the potential assists have been there. He's averaging 15.2 potential assists per game. In the playoffs, he's averaging 9.5 assists per game. And if you look at what he's done in this series, pretty similar. 14.8 potential assists per game, 9.2 assists per game in this series. So Jokic's numbers in this series and for the postseason have been you know, pretty similar. It's not like he's seen 
much of a drop in his assist numbers or his potential assists. Last game, he actually had the most potential assists that he's had all series. He had 18 potential assists last game. Obviously, ran pretty good to get 13 assists. But Jokic, we know, is a player that you know his his potential assists are going to be more valuable than any other passer because Jokic is so good at finding the open man. A lot of times when Jokic passes to someone who shoots it, a lot of times he's the, the shooter is going to be uncontested because Jokic is so good at finding the open shooter. It's just going to come down to whether or not you know his teammates can knock down those shots. And typically, you can expect you know, teams to convert about half of their players' potential assists. I think for a guy like Nikola Jokic, you can expect a higher conversion rate because, like I said, so many of his assists are you know, really good passes that are you know, easily able to be made, where, whether it's like he's lobbing it up to somebody or he's kicking it out to a shooter who's wide open. It really just comes down to them making their shots. But we know we're going to get the volume from Jokic. We know the potential assists are going to be there. Last game, again, 18 potential assists. And the minutes are through the roof for Jokic. He's going to play 40-plus minutes if this game's competitive. Um, I think he's played like almost 40 minutes in nearly every playoff game so far. Yeah, at least 38 minutes in all 10 playoff games, 40 minutes and 5 out of 10. So you can expect big minutes for Jokic here, plenty of assist opportunities, and hopefully Denver, you know, his teammates, hopefully they can make their shots. If they do, I think we got a good chance of getting nine assists from Nikola Jokic, which, like I said, he's done. He's, you know, he's hit this line in 70% of playoff games or this season. So like this one is our first prop for tonight. And looking at sportsbook odds, Right now, Pinnacle, uh, they currently have this prop heavily favored towards the over. Uh, right now, it's minus 136 on Pinnacle for Jokic over 8.5 assists. So, like that is our first prop for this game. And then the other prop that I like to pair with it, on the other side, looking at the Timberwolves, we're going to talk about Anthony Edwards, 6.5 assists. And I like the under here, less than 6.5 assists for Anthony Edwards. So, let's talk about why I like this under. Now, this line is, I would say, probably a little bit inflated because of Mike Conley being questionable. Mike Conley did not play last game. And if you look, Anthony Edwards did have nine assists last game with Mike Conley out. But he only had nine potential assists. So every single one of his potential assists last game got converted. He had a 100% conversion rate, which is obviously not sustainable. Like I said, it, it, the average conversion rate for potential assists is about 50%. For some players, it's a little bit higher for you know for a guy like Jokic. For someone like Anthony Edwards, you don't expect him to convert 100% of his potential assists, which is what he did last game. And so far in the playoffs, he's only averaged 9.9 potential potential assists per game. So it's not like he's been out there you know getting like you know 14, 15, 16 potential assists. He's only averaging 9.9 per game so far in this series. He's only averaged 8.6 potential assist per game and even with Mike Conley out last game their you know their point guard Edwards still only had nine potential assists so it's it wasn't like he was doing a ton of ball handling and it's not like his assist numbers saw a huge spike he just ran really good converting every single one of his you know potential assists and I was looking at his stats this season without Mike Conley just on the off chance that Mike Conley does sit again I would think that I think there's a good chance Mike Conley plays today, and if Mike Conley does play, I feel pretty confident this assist line is going to get bumped down. So that's why I like the under now. Even if Mike Conley gets ruled out, I don't see this line going up to seven. I think it's going to stay at six and a half. So I'm still good playing the under here, even if Mike Conley sits again. But I think there's a good chance Mike Conley plays tonight. But looking at his games this season without Mike Conley, he's played six games uh, during the regular season. He still went under this assist prop in four out of those six games. So even during the regular season, you know, four out of six games without Conley, he still had less than you know seven assists. So far in the playoffs, he's gone under this line in, I believe, I think, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So six out of nine playoff games so far, he's gone under this line. Sure, you know, Conley being out could give Edwards an assist boost, but last game, that wasn't really the case. He only had nine potential assists, just ran really good converting all those assists. Um, you know, with this being a pretty much a must, it, it is a must win game for Minnesota. I think we maybe could see Anthony Edwards be a little bit more aggressive on the offensive end um, from a scoring perspective, which obviously if you know he's shooting the ball more, that's obviously going to be me, not as many assist opportunities, potential assists. So I do like this as our second prop for tonight. Uh, Anthony Edwards, less than six and a half assists. And again, looking at sportsbook odds right now on Pinnacle, 
This Anthony Edwards six and a half assist prop is uh, it's currently let's see minus 136. So both uh, Pinnacle has Jokic minus 136 favored to go over eight and a half assists, and they have Anthony Edwards minus 136 favored to go under uh, six and a half assists. So these are the two props I'm liking for Thursday's game, game six of Nuggets Timberwolves. Again, guys, it's just a one game slate. There's only one game tonight. I would recommend playing a little bit lighter on when there's only one game. There's just not going to be as many props to like when you're limited with what you can choose from. But with what's available right now, looking at the, the board the night before, these were the props I like most. We'll see what the board looks like you know, on Thursday. If there's any more NBA plays I like, I'll share those on Patreon like I always do. I usually give out MLB plays every day on Patreon as well. So if you want additional prize picks plays from me, you can check out the Patreon linked down below in the description. But that's all that I got for this slate on Thursday. Appreciate you guys watching the video as always. Hit that like button down below if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button as well. And if you guys, again, are new to Prize Picks, uh, make sure to sign up. Use that promo code NOAA and get your first deposit matched up to $100 over on Prize Picks uh, when you use that code NOAA. But good luck tonight, guys. Thanks as always for watching. We will see you in the next video. Peace.